Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Life in Bunker, where we have run out of garbage storage because this garbage recycler just can't work fast enough. Ah, man, we built this guy on the last episode, and I kind of sort of think that maybe we need to build another. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going fast enough. All right, so here we have our nice little bunker moving along pretty well, all things considered. We're going to go ahead and mark that space out to be removed and then I don't know where I would find it if I were looking for the lifts I don't know what that's under not that guy nope not that one nope farming not farming not storage doors and lifts ah duh it would be under doors and lifts so we can build a lift down to the next floor for 250 building resources we don't have that right now so that's not going to happen and I'm actually about to put some more steel floors down which means we're going to lose some more resources to flooring costs, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and put some stainless steel floors down, some nice metal floors. Cue those guys up. I'm really hopeful that our garbage problem will get under control here sooner rather than later. That would be really nice. What is that? That seems like a virus. Red. All right, we do have a couple of doctors, so theoretically... Or a couple of scientists so theoretically we can take care of that problem we only have this one person here rose who is our worker so we don't really have a whole lot of workers we do have three people working on food right now not cooking um okay so let's take a look at this you know what here let me pause for a second uh don't eat the mole man meat it's bad trust me it's bad i kind of think we need someone else as a worker so let's go ahead and get Cena here as a worker. We'll let Cena be a worker before he she retires shortly. After a life of cooking, you no longer have to cook for everyone. Instead, I just ask you to grab a pickaxe and knock down walls or put flooring down. You know, nice easy work like that. How's our garbage recycler doing? It's sort of working. There we go. Look, there is room in that waste container finally. And that's good because there's a little bit of waste lying around and uh, we need someone to take care of that. All of these folks are just chilling. Mary is sleeping here. Our water pumps are pretty much uh, close to being used. How is our incubator coming along? It is coming along pretty well. We do have a bunch of research points that we could spend at this point in the game if we so choose. Let's go ahead and research that so our janitors don't have to work as hard. I think that would be a good idea for them. Bunk bed, VR game machine. I talked about making the dance machine, so we're going to go ahead and do that this episode, I think. Let's research the big reactor, because at some point we will need the big reactor. I really would like to do some fruit. Um, let's do that one. We're going to do a grain first. And you know what? Here, let's just do both of them. Who cares? We have the points to spend. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We're going to upgrade these guys, because that's going to save our engineers... A fair amount of time and we're going to do both of those right there yeah we just spent pretty much everything we had for research i mean everything uh except for bunk beds and the vr game machine and fast disassembling have been researched at this point so that's going to mean that research points from this point forward well shortly from this point forward are strictly going to be used for the incubator such that we're going to be able to turn that off from time to time because we're not going to need the incubator or we're not going to need points all the time. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it works. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to do that. We built this on the last episode, and I forgot to set it to vegetables. There we go. Go ahead and set that as vegetables. That way you guys can go ahead and store those in there. And then those are going to be ready pretty soon. Okay, so we're not doing too badly, all things considered. Uh, we, could, we could be doing a lot worse. We've definitely done a lot worse. Yeah, it's... Uh, hmm. We've done worse before, so this isn't too bad. How is everyone doing health-wise? So Mary... Mary is going to be dying soon, I I think. What? What? I don't know where... where Where is Mary? Where are you? Let's go ahead and focus on Mary. Yeah, she's not doing too well. She's in good health, but... um, She stinks. Apparently, she stinks. I'd like to move this couch now. I think we need to move that somewhere else. Or replace it with the VR game machine. What is that going to cost? Let's just see what that costs. So residential zone. Uh, no, sorry, resting zone. Dance machine. That's what I that's what I researched. It was the dance machine. So it's going to cost 100. Let's go ahead and mark that for disassembly. 
And then I think we'll put it um, not right there because that's not the best place for it. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more space over here. Not too much because every time I do this, I have to put flooring down. So it is costing me resources. Sofa's been disassembled. Okay, we're still okay. We're not doing too poorly here. I mean, things could be could be much worse. Let's go ahead and put some floors down. So we'll queue those guys up. Those are going to be fine. That's going to help out. Keep our mole man invasions down. That's why we're doing that, of course. We don't want mole men. Mole men are bad. Mole men are bad. I don't understand why they eat mole man meat, though. I mean, they got to understand mole man. Mole men, mole people are bad. So why are you eating the meat? That just seems like a terrible idea. I don't get it. Look at that. More babies. And we're going to have an air problem. Yep, we have an air problem. I knew that one was coming. That's in part why I haven't built a bunch of things just yet. <laughs> um, okay, so all these things are accessible, so we need to leave a little bit of space. We're going to go to our life support and go to a big air purifier. And these, thankfully, don't cost a whole lot of resources. We're just going to put it right there. That's fine. Okay. We're going to be okay. We still have enough air for a while. Theoretically, someone will get over to that. We do have two workers. One of them is working on putting flooring and stuff down and removing that wall. Let's just put that down and hope that they get over to it quickly. All right, someone's building that. That'll be good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and turn these smaller ones off because this one right here is going to produce enough air on its own to take care of the basically everything. So it will need some power. It will need some water. So let's go ahead and do that. And water is actually going to be fine on it. So Theoretically, someone will take care of the power issue. I'm just looking to see. Sina here is getting... Sina Sina is getting ready to retire very soon. And then... Ooh, Charlotte and Anton are going to be retiring soon as well. So we need to... Crud. Okay, so we need to queue up. Let's do some more of these. And let's just go ahead and start them up. We're going to do some more... Some more embryos that are capable of taking care of everything. And then now we're going to go ahead and turn that guy off. And I think we're going to be safe to turn this one off as well. Because these only generate, whatever it is, uh, three air on their own. So we're basically at 30 air. I don't know what that actually means in terms of usage. Because we don't have anywhere near 30 people. But anyway, that's going to be fine. That basically just basically means this doesn't take as much power as it used to because we've kind of turned stuff. Ah, yes. Jack, uh -huh. you are ready to work. Let's give you a profession. You, I think, are going to be a scientist for now because we have someone who's going to retire soon as a scientist. No, we don't. So, ah, that'll be fine. That's okay, though. Oh, yeah, more food. Margaret, you're ready to work. You're going to be a cook. We definitely need another cook. I think we're down to one. We're down to two, but we're going to be down to one pretty soon because Isabel's going to retire. So we're doing okay. We're not doing too badly. Let's take a look at our garbage situation. Oh, look at that. It actually is sort of kind of low. Okay, now I was kind of starting on working some stuff here. Oh, we need to get Hisako oh working. You are going to be a worker since we need some of those. Let's take a pause here. While we figure out where things are going to go, I would like to put another residential zone. I'd like to put another shower pod down. I feel like we could use another one of those. They only have two. Well, they only have one. They have two toilets, but even that's not many. And uh, I don't know. It's okay. I think that'll be enough. And then we do have enough resources to put down a game machine, the dance machine. I would like to do that because they don't really have any way to relax right now. And they... They should be able to relax. This is, um, you know, stressful life living in a bunker. So they need a way to just kind of, you know, take the edge off a little. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy right there. This is not a great location for it. It's just a location, period. So let's go ahead and give it some power. We need to give it power. Power. Power, you're going to do it like that. That'll be perfect. I think one, two, three, four, one, two. Nope. We're going to do it like that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Can I, can I not disassemble that one? There we go. Good. There. Do it the short way. <laughs> we'll do it that way. That's that's the most the more efficient way. We're going to do... We're going for efficiency. Now, the next thing is to do a lift. So let's go ahead and take a peek downstairs. 
to see what that's going to look like. We have a lot of open spaces. I mean, we technically still have a lot of space up here where we can expand up here. So maybe we should do that. One thing I don't really know about, if it is a thing, is can you get cave-ins from not having enough support? Because this is all one giant open area. I don't have walls. <laughs> I don't know if you can get cave-ins. I have no clue. I'm really curious to find out, but um, I don't know. How are you doing? You are going to retire soon. So don't kill yourself before you retire. I would appreciate that. I'm sure the rest of the residents would as well. Especially since you're still kind of working. Let's go and put some floors down. Floors. More floors. We're just going to keep slapping these floors down because we don't want mole men. We only have a couple of workers. They are taking care of things pretty quickly, though, I gotta admit. How are we doing? Stop stop injuring yourself, people. Ugh. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Okay. Keep on chopping stuff away. Got a cable breakage. I don't know where that one is. Uh, it doesn't look like it's affecting anything major at this point. So I think that's okay. Uh, nope, it is. It's affecting something major. It's affecting one of our air purifiers. Yeah, it's not good. How many engineers do we have? We have one, two engineers, so we're theoretically okay for the time being. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I'm going to put Jack on working for the moment, just because I think we have enough scientists for the moment. I'm going to say we do, and I really would like, especially since we have mole men popping up, I'd like these floors to be taken care of very quickly here, so we're going to prioritize that sort of work by giving a bunch of workers. And uh, if I really have someone who's injured... Ah, uh, yep, there goes Cena retiring. And crud, now I don't have any janitors, so let's go ahead and stop this game. We need to get a janitor, so who is going to be a janitor? Uh, Rose, you're going to be a janitor now. Okay. Rose, thank you for your time as a worker. You are now a janitor. Um, pull out your vacuum, please, and scoop this stuff up. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good work. Garbage recycling is still struggling to keep up. Uh, we have lots of people retiring now. Not good. You guys have a shower pod. Don't worry. You don't really have a doctor right now because someone is busy researching. So let's go ahead and... Sergey, let's turn the research machine off. You're going to go and be a doctor, because we need a doctor right now. No? You're not going to go be a doctor? You're going to go work out. Okay, good. Let's stop and take a look at what we're looking at here. We have a water pipe break. That's not going to be good. We do have Sergey and Yanisa, who's going to be retiring soon. Oh, boy. We do have a fair amount of food, so we're not doing too poorly on that front. But we really need some of these young ones to get up to a working age. That would be really good. In fact, how are we doing over here? Those are still coming along. So I'm just checking to make sure we're not missing anything vital here. We do have one of everything, but it's not looking terribly pretty. Let's take Margaret off of cooking, since we do have someone who's going to at least have another year or cycle or however that works cooking. We're just going to hope that two is enough. I mean, we do have a couple of meals stored up, so we're doing okay. Okay, so looks like we're not doing too badly. I would really like to be able to put down more food sources. So let's go ahead and clear some of this out. Let's clear that line right there. Cat, be careful. You are going to fall if you don't. If you're not careful, that is. And then let's go ahead and put some floors down. Lots of empty space. Lots of empty space. Like I said, I don't know if there's a if collapsing is a thing. I guess it would have the, the the roof would have collapsed right now if it was a thing, so it doesn't appear to be. Which I guess the walls are just for people who actually want a place that looks nice instead of one that's just somewhat functional. And clearly I'm going for function over form. Look at that. These guys are dancing, and yes, I know, our waste is full. We do have a garbage incinerator type machine slowly crunching away, but I don't know. We might need a second one. Maybe we can build one right here. But I don't want to do that just yet. And we have lost a few folks. I think they lived a good long life. I'm, I'm going to hope. 
they lived a good long life. Because I don't know why they're all dying all of a sudden. I don't think it's from the snots. I think they're just, uh, I think they're just, you know, dying of old age, which it's unfortunate, but it happens in the bunker. Yanisa is not happy. Very sorry about that. Good thing is, <laughs> this is going to be really cruel, but um, good thing is I can turn this one off and I can just turn these back on and we'll have enough oxygen if I turn both of them on. Sorry, I'm trying to fight with a cat, which means I'm playing one-handed. Not literally fighting, but, you know, she's being kind of a pain. Yeah, we have lost a bunch of folks here. Just out of curiosity, if I turn you back off, what if I turn you off? Are we good? We're actually good. Look at that, we're good. We're not going to be for long, so I'm gonna turn it back on because those are going to pop embryos out shortly. I'd really like to get another incubator down, so we do need to look at getting another incubator before too long. Let's turn this back on so we can get some research again. Cat, you are all caught up in my headphones cable. That is really not helpful for me. Thank you. Don't, don't kill me or whatever you're trying to do right now. Put that floor down. Oh, we need to put some more floors down. So let's put these, uh, nope, we want steel floors right there. So we're gonna put those guys down. Let's go ahead and resume. Yeah, I really do need to put another trash collector down or trash uh, compactor. Okay, we really need to go down to the second floor soon too because we're running out of resources. Here we go, we got some more babies. Um, just taking a look here. I don't remember what I set everyone as. So let's do a scientist and engineer and a cook. And we'll just go ahead and start them up. That's going to be fine for now. And we are okay on oxygen. Let's just take a quick look. Where are we on the power and water game? Looks like we have enough water and we definitely have enough power. So we're okay on that front. The lift is going to take a bunch of power, I suspect. Let's go ahead and build it. We're going to build a lift to the second floor. We'll find out how much power this takes once it's done. And then theoretically, I'm going to need to run power to it, right? That would make sense. So let's go ahead and run some cables to it. Uh, actually, it'll be fine. It's going to feed right off of the kitchen, I think. What happened? Uh, yeah. You guys, you just are disgusting. You need to, you need to take care of this. You need to be more careful. All right, this is being built nice and quickly. Yeah, I know. We're not out of food. We got someone making meals. Stop complaining. They're not starving. They're, look, there are two meals, three meals. There are about four meals ready to go. Look at that. Quit complaining. There's no one even sitting at the table. Go get some food, people. You can you can do it. Look at that. You're going to put meals on there because you're awesome. Look at that. You are awesome. Isabel, you are awesome. You just filled that thing up with food. Maybe we need another kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we have a lift. Let's see. I guess this guy, you can't click on it to see anything. So I don't know how this actually works, if it is taking power or not. I assume it does. Let's go ahead and send someone downstairs, and then we're going to just queue a couple of these things up to be rid of, and we're probably going to need to build some walls or something along those lines. I really just need to do a quick inspection here. And I don't know, can we maybe queue that up? How many workers do we have? Let's just take a quick pause. We have one, two workers three workers. We have someone ready to work now. I want you on food. I just feel like food is going to be super important, so let's not forget about that. I think I missed one. I only got... Yeah, you. I missed you. We need another janitor, I think. I think we're okay on engineers for the moment. One, two engineers. Uh, yeah, we. I mean, we could really use more of everything, but it's okay. Let's go back downstairs and see what's going on down here. Ooh, okay. I'm just taking a look here. Just trying to get a feel for what's going on. We're going to need to put some floors in. I'm going to put just some cheap floors in for the time being. Just so we can basically prevent Moment from appearing. That's all I'm really caring about right now. Let's go ahead and queue those up. I don't know... 
how far that's going to go. You guys are doing a good job so far. Do appreciate that. I do need to queue up those spots right there. Just because I don't want anyone to get stuck as soon as I have them build a resource machine, the mining machine. I don't want them to get stuck over there. So I want to make sure that they, they're able to get out. Not bad. Not bad. We are actually on the second floor. I find it difficult to believe as well, but we are. I don't know how this works. Maybe we need to build a... I guess we might need to build power down here. I don't know how that works. We'll have to figure that one out on the next one, though, because I think we've hit our time limit on this one. Holy cow, look at that. We have floors going in. We have floors going in. Oh, I need... Just take a look here. I need another floor. No, I can't build one right there. Okay, well, I guess I can't build one right there yet because they need to go over there and uncover the fog of war. Get rid of the war, the fog, the war fog. Not bad, not bad so far. We have expanded down to the second floor. Feeling pretty good about this. We have three workers that are going to take care of stuff and we are going to continue on just a little later on the next episode. So let me know what you're thinking about this one. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will catch you on that next episode. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later.